Hello, my name is Ian Gordon. I am a founding member of the Network of Inter- and Transdisciplinary Research Organizations in the Oceania region, that's Nitra Oceania for short. And I'm contacting you today to invite you to join one of the two business meetings that's taking place for Nitra Oceania on the 4th and 6th of October at 1 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard, uh, Daylight Savings Time, apologies. Um, and uh, it, we're really keen to have you attend to have your voices heard. So just as a, a bit of background for Nitra Oceania, people, communities and economies globally and regionally are facing multiple challenges. With the COVID pandemic still amongst us, supporting healthy and thriving communities is one clear challenge. Caring for the environment amidst climate change, biodiversity loss and food insecurity is another. Geopolitical insecurity and associated migration, violence and refugee flows are also dramatically affecting communities. These multiple crises are interconnected through complex relations and feedback loops, which cannot be addressed in isolation. Working with partners and across universities and other institutes is central to creating the diverse knowledges and solutions necessary to address these challenges. They require transcending traditional boundaries of discipline-based research and education. Despite the long-standing recognition that challenge-led research requires interdisciplinary collaboration as well as transdisciplinary approaches, universities and research ecosystems are not well equipped to nurture them. For instance, there are mismatches between inter- and transdisciplinary research careers and institutional KPIs and funding. Publishing intra and transdisciplinary research is also often more complex and time consuming. Nitra Oceania was established to address these um, challenges by inspiring and supporting researchers to achieve trans this uh, transformational impact on global challenges and by championing interdisciplinary and transdisciplinary research policy and funding settings. In the up and coming uh, members meetings, the Nitra Oceania executive will report on these activities over the last year and invite all members to share their experiences. So as I said, there are two business meetings taking place in October and there, we're having two meetings in order for as many of you to attend as possible. It is an important time for the network as we set the agenda for Nitro Oceania over the next few years. We are keen to find out what you are uh, wanting from the Nitro Oceania network and we'll be seeking your opinion in the following areas. So what has worked well for the network? What has not worked so well? What are you optimistic about for the network? And what are you concerned about? And finally, what should we do to foster inter and transdisciplinary uh, research in the region? So I encourage you to attend the business, one or other of the business meetings and to have your voice heard and support your network. So thank you very much indeed for listening. And in the meantime, I hope you stay well. Thank you.